The Greater Accra Regional Hospital is one of the key health facilities in the country that received and treated COVID-19 cases during the pandemic. Even though COVID-19 cases have been on the decline lately, the facility is still faced with some logistical challenges. The medical director of the hospital, Dr. Emmanuel Srofenio, explained that the facility is struggling to deliver services to patients and is therefore urging corporate institutions to assist the facility. He reviewed this when Euro Prima Industries Limited made a donation of over 3,000 cartons of assorted product worth 400,000 Ghana cities to the facility. Bouncing back from COVID or suffering from the impact of COVID-19 pandemic, there are so many other challenges that we face in the line of service delivery. Because of the various protocols, one of the areas where, which has impacted much significantly on the hospital's resources is the area of logistics in form of examination gloves and sera gloves and many other of these items that we use for day-to-day -day service delivery. And we are still open. If there is any other company that want to visit us and support the hospital in service delivery, our doors are widely open. As I said, utilities and items, logistic items that are used for service delivery like gloves, examination gloves, and sterile gloves, surgical gloves, and many other things, even if it's the same items that organizations want to give to us, we are ready to receive them and use them for the benefit of Ghanaians who come for service delivery. You know, sometimes when patients come, some of them may not even have national health insurance card. They come in form of emergencies. We provide the service, and after service is provided, when their bills are prepared, they don't have money. And so sometimes they stay on the ward for a few days. When we see that they don't have any resources, we are forced to discharge them and waive their bills for them. All these go as costs to the hospital. And that is why when companies come to support us in this way, it goes in a long way to relieve us, to help us to provide service, more service, to people who may not have the resources, but who come to our doorsteps. Because when somebody comes to our doorstep with an emergency condition, the law does not allow us to say that you don't have resources, therefore go. We will definitely take a good care of you, do you see? And that will become a cost to the hospital. So definitely, we need occasional support. Meanwhile, Head of Administration and Finance for Europe Primary Industries, Frank Prepra, has cautioned the general public to be cautious of fake products on the market. To a large extent, our brands have been well protected within the market. However, in one or two instances, we've had some issues of fake products also come up. But um, what we will tell the market is to always look out for the branded, well-branded uh, Santex that you have on the market. The red and then the green and then the white boxes. Um, also, we also encourage them to actually visit our accredited distributors all around the country to get to the original products and um, if they should also encounter anything that is they believe is not the real Santex that they are used to over the past 30 years um, they can easily call our offices and then uh, we will be very glad to listen to them and then um, attend to their needs. Euro Primer Industries Limited is the manufacturer of Santex antiseptic soap so clean, boom washing powder, supreme instant noodles, and top cafe, among others. Mousy Numons report for your news.